So unless you've been hiding under a rock for the last couple of weeks, we have seen tons of information coming out about a Mario Kart 9, or a Mario Kart 10, or a Nintendo Kart, lots of different things, but at the end of the day, everyone on Twitter is fighting each other, determining what this could be, because there's one side of the argument saying that this should be just a Mario Kart game with nothing but Mario Kart characters for a Mario Kart 9, and the other side of the argument is that Nintendo should open this game up to a Nintendo Kart with guest characters throughout Nintendo's other franchises. And people have been bickering back and forth online about which one would be better. And of course, I have to weigh in today. Now, I'm not going to necessarily pick one side over the other, even though I do lean towards one, and I'll let you guys know what that is, but I'm going to give reasons for why both of them are really good options, if done correctly. I think there's really strong evidence for both types of games to be really good, and I think a lot of people are blowing this out of proportion as to what each is going to mean. And I'm going to kind of give you guys a little bit of an analysis of how each game would work. And I'm going to start with the side of the Mario series first. But before we get started, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario Kart and all things Nintendo in general. You guys have been absolutely so supportive on my last recent videos and I can't thank you guys enough. But let's get into the video. So the first side I want to take is the Mario side. Let's talk about what this would be if it was just another Mario Kart game with strictly Mario characters. Now, I'm going to start with the problems with this, okay? And I think the problems really boil down to Nintendo. If Nintendo was going to do this again, we've seen what they've been doing in recent years with these characters, and I think it's just going to be very safe. I'm not saying by any means does each new installment of Mario Kart continue to be safe. They try new things that have new mechanics, and they're great games, you know? At the end of the day, they're really good, but it still is safe Mario Kart at the end of the day. You have tracks that are returning, at least half of them. You have lots of returning characters and some character slots that just don't make sense. So let's just start there with the characters. In my opinion, Mario Kart 8 has one of the most pathetic rosters in Mario video games. I think the sports titles even have a better roster than this. I mean, this is lots of clones, lots of characters that just don't make sense. I mean, you have Tanuki Mario as a separate character slot. Cat Peach? You even have, like, Metal and Pink Gold Peach. What's the point of that being a separate slot instead of it being a skin for these characters? All the Koopalings, different slots when they could all be separate skins for Bowser Jr. like in Smash Brothers. Now, they do have some really cool additions such as third-party characters outside of Mario Kart. Not actually third-party characters, just third-party outside of Mario Kart. Because you have the Inklings, you have Link, you have Animal Crossing characters, Isabel. So, that's pretty cool and all that. But of course, we're talking about just strictly first-party Mario characters. And the characters that we've been getting have just not been good. I mean, just let's just look at the Mario Kart 7 roster. It's just so completely small. There's only about 16 characters, and it's just not that fascinating to look at. I mean, yes, we have some guest stars that are kind of cool. You got Metal Mario again, but we got the Queen Bee from Mario Galaxy, Wiggler, and Lakitu. I mean, it's just random. It doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even kind of flow with anything. There's no theme or anything. There's no other Mario Galaxy characters or enemies or anything. It's just like, here's this random character that existed. Let's throw them in the game. The max amount of characters we've ever had in Mario Kart has been 39, and that was in Mario Kart 8 and over half of those characters are either just cheap copies, clones, or different alts such as the Koopalings and all of the babies, which could once again be extra alts for just one baby. So we're getting just not that many characters, and I feel like in a game like Mario Kart, please correct me if I'm wrong, should be easier to render and just make a couple of animations for compared to a game like Smash Brothers, which each character has their own individual moveset. Which is kind of crazy that they can't have more characters in a Mario Kart than they do in Super Smash Bros. Now that's not to say that Nintendo can't make an absolutely god tier roster. I think if they did it right, it could be even better than a Nintendo roster with other Nintendo characters. There's so many Mario characters to pull from, from side series such as Mario & Luigi, Paper Mario, you could even have spin-offs such as party games and bring in characters from different worlds such as the Bean Bean Kingdom and Sunshine. There's so many options and possibilities and even characters from Donkey Kong which is technically canon in the Mario universe, there could be so much potential. Luigi's Mansion, I can keep going forever, but Nintendo seems to pick these very basic characters every time around and just throw in a couple of random enemies from Bowser's Army, such as a Goomba or a Koopa Troopa, when there's so much more to be had. I mean, just imagine if we had a roster with over 50 Mario-themed characters and they all had their own individual skins and things that you can change with them where you can customize your own character as much as you like. That would be amazing and I think that would be justifiable to have a first-party Mario-based only Mario Kart game. 
I think you also kind of run into a problem with the stages because once again Mario Kart stages in every new Mario Kart game has about half of the cups being returned stages from the past. And I think people are slowly starting to get tired of the same stages over and over again and we're probably even going to get some stages from Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe brought over to this next Mario Kart game. And I feel like that's just kind of defeating the purpose of having this next Mario Kart game. We already have a Mario Kart on the Switch right now, and this game already came out on the Wii U, the same exact game with the same exact tracks. They really cannot bring over any of those tracks into this new Mario Kart. It probably won't happen regardless, but that's just something to look out at. And you know, what are the odds of them bringing back classic stages? Very high. And I think we need just nothing but new stages at this point. I think there's only two directions they can really go is all new stages or literally every single other stage they already done. Like a Super Mario Kart Ultimate where it has every single track ever. That could be the only justifiable way I think they could bring back like certain tracks from Mario Kart 8 is if every track was in the game. But I think they need to have almost completely new tracks. And I would love to see tracks, yes, you can have original ones, but I would love to see some that are kind of dedicated and kind of resembled something within the Mushroom Kingdom. For instance, remember Woohoo Island? There was two Woohoo Island stages in Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, and they were both amazing stages. They were almost one-to-one -one recreation of the island, but it still felt so fresh and so much fun. It was just like a really fun drive, and I think they need more stuff like that. They need to kind of replicate some stages that already exist. Let us drive through New Donk City. That would be phenomenal. I think that would be a lot of fun, and there's just so much potential for stuff like that. And I think there's a lot of new games that Nintendo has never touched on, driving in and out of Luigi's Mansion like we did in Mario Kart DS. We need more stuff like that. Yes, there should still be original tracks like Maple Tree Way and Koopa Cape and Coconut Mall, but we should also have some that are dedicated and kind of resembling already existing established Mario franchises. Let's race around the Bean Bean Kingdom for crying out loud. Maybe through the hallways of Peach's Castle and we can go through paintings, then kind of end up in Bomb on Battlefield or Dire Dire Docks, Jolly Roger Bay. It'd be so much fun. I also think if we do go the all Mario route, I think they need to have a more well-established single player mode again, like they did in Mario Kart DS, where we had mission mode, we completed missions, and you could even fight bosses for crying out loud. That was amazing, and Nintendo needs to have more stuff like that for these big multiplayer games for people to play alone. Racing computers is just not that fun. So I think if we do get a just strictly Mario roster and Mario based game, I think this option is actually very reasonable and I think we could very well get something like this. Maybe even an adventure mode like Diddy Kong Racing. I think the potential for this is extremely high which makes me super excited to get something like that. So that is definitely a beneficial thing for Mario Kart. And of course, if it was a Nintendo cart, it could still have a story mode. But let's just face it, I think if they're going to go that far to have a Nintendo cart, that's not the thing that they're going to be worried about. They're going to be more worried about characters and stages and online play rather than any type of single player. Now we move on to Nintendo cart. How would this be different? And let's talk about why people are not too happy with this idea because of the fact that it getting rid of Mario's name. Yes, it's called Mario Kart, not Nintendo Kart for a reason. We want Mario characters to stay. And I get that, I understand that, but here's kind of my rebuttal and why I'm kind of leaning towards this side a little bit more. We have had Mario Kart for way too long now. In fact, there's about 10 games in the franchise, even though we're on 8. And even though we're on 8 Deluxe, which is once again another version of Mario Kart 8 that had come out 10 years ago on the Wii U, it's kind of getting tiring, I'm not going to lie. We have had so much Mario Kart, we've seen all these different characters and all these different stages for time and time again, and we already have a Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch already, and it's selling like hotcakes still to this day, five years later. So, why would it be so bad to have something a little bit different, at least for one game? I'm not saying get rid of Mario Kart forever, but why can't we kind of step into the territory and see at least what a Nintendo Kart would look like and test the waters a little bit, see if it would be something really cool, a spin-off of Mario Kart, or maybe something new for Mario Kart that it could need. I'm not saying that every character in this roster needs to be somebody from the Nintendo properties outside of Mario, but let's just say about 60% or 70% of the roster stays Mario characters, but the other 40-30% are new Nintendo reps. Right there, the character roster is already 10 times better, and there's no room for stupid characters such as Tanuki Mario, Metal Mario, Gold Mario, Metal Gold Peach, all the babies, all the Bowserlings, you know what I mean? There's room for other unique original characters. You can have Link, you can have Zelda, you can have Kirby, you can have Olimar, you can have Shulk. I mean, like you can have all these different characters coming together and having their own individual personalities in their own carts as reflected on their series. I think that would be really cool, and right away it eliminates that potential problem of having weird clones and echoes. Yes, I know they could still pull a Smash Brothers and have tons of... 
I guess, Echo Drivers this time around, but isn't really an Echo Driver since these drivers don't really have their own abilities, or do they? I think this can open a door for something that Mario Kart has already played with already on the GameCube being Mario Kart Double Dash. I would love it for every single character to kind of have their own specific item that they could randomly draw. For instance, Mario could get this giant fireball blast, and Bowser could get a giant shell, Peach could get these hearts to protect her, and different things like that, and I would love to see something like that with other Nintendo characters. Link could get a giant bow that he could shoot an arrow forward, or maybe a sword that he can slash somebody once right beside him, and then maybe Kirby can get a giant inhale and like spit the enemy out or something. Just different crazy wacky things for all these different characters. Captain Falcon could get like a giant boom burst where he just blasts forward and knocks everybody out of the way. I would just love to see stuff like that. Obviously it would be balanced and you know they could you know play around with this and figure out what works best and you know there's going to be characters that are better than others. This is how it works. But I can't wait to see if Nintendo comes up with some incredible things like that. I think the potential is limitless. Imagine being Alamar and getting the Pikmin item and being able to throw your Pikmin at different enemies. Now one drawback is that we probably won't get many original stages, and people really love that about Mario Kart, and I do understand. Yes, we're not going to get the coconut malls, the maple tree ways, the Koopa capes, I get that. And that sucks. But at the same time, we're going to be getting some amazing stages dedicated to certain games. I think there's a pretty good trade-off to go around Hyrule and go throughout Grudo Valley and the castle itself, and then drive around Dreamland or a giant forest full with giant creatures from Pikmin or a castle courtyard with Fire Emblem, or Gar Plains from Xenoblade. I think there's so much potential with all these other series, and Nintendo's already kind of hinting at this. They did it with Mario Kart 7 with Woohoo Island, and they obviously did it with Mario Kart 8 with Animal Crossing Village, two F-Zero stages, a Splatoon battle arena. I mean, there was just so much here from other games, and I think the potential, once again, is very high for some cool tracks. I really like Excite Bike. it's very simple, but it's based around a completely other game, and it's one-to-one -one creation of what that would look like if we did play Excite Bike in 3D, and I love stuff like that. I also think this allows for an ongoing game to continue to have surprising reveals, announcements, and surprises, and I know people are like, oh no, no more Mario Kart reveals like Smash reveals, this is gonna be crazy. But you might say, oh no, but it was a big deal. And Smash Brothers character reveals is literally a special place in Nintendo's hearts. And it's what kind of gets people excited. We really don't have another game that gets people that excited about a DLC update to an already existing, well-established video game. And I think Mario Kart could be the next one to do that. We can't keep relying on Smash Brothers all the time. Because, for instance, right now, it might be closer to almost six to seven years later until we get another Smash Brothers where we can have that hype again. And why not kind of bounce that off with another game? Why is Smash Brothers the only game allowed to have all these Nintendo characters interacting together? Why can't they all race together instead of just fighting each other? I think there's a potential to have something like that, and I would love to see it. I mean, it'd be so fun to have DLC packs or free updates adding new tracks every month or something like that in a new character. And now that the characters actually could have abilities, it would make it even more worth it to wait for a new character. Like, man, I can't wait to see who else they add and what type of special ability they're going to have and what type of track is going to come with them because I think as much as the excitement is for a brand new racer there's more excitement for their track imagine like oh sweet fox is coming but we actually get to race around the great fox and in space along all these different orbital gates and stuff and around these planets it would be so cool around Corneria there's so much potential and I think people could be actually genuinely excited about new packs and DLC waves coming in now I do think that people need to also be wary that this probably will not include any absolute third-party characters meaning characters outside of Nintendo. This isn't Smash Brothers after all, so that really wouldn't make sense. They should definitely just stick with Nintendo characters if they go this route, but I think the potential there is extremely high, and I think people don't realize right now how cool these tracks would actually be if they represented these worlds, and once again, Smash Brothers allowed people to get interest in all these other Nintendo properties, and what other game would do that just as much a Mario Kart game where everyone loves Mario Kart and now people can see all these great characters you know once again and be like who are they who are these characters and be interested in playing these other series and this could be a great marketing thing for Nintendo as well whatever way Nintendo decides to take this next Mario Kart game whether it be Mario based or Nintendo Kart I think there's so much potential for both games Mario Kart is really just getting started there is so much untapped potential still sitting there for a Mario Kart game in the future, and there's so much stuff that Nintendo can still do, and that's 
definitely up their sleeves. But let me know in the comments down below where you stand. Are you Team Mario Kart or Team Nintendo Kart? Let me know in the comments down below by starting off by saying Team Mario Kart or Team Nintendo Kart, followed by why you chose that team, and maybe you could appear in the next video in something I do with this. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one, and make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you then. See you guys.